Hey guys, I'm King Spoon, and this is going to be the first episode of my Let's Play in Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Pikmin 3 was the third installment, obviously, of the Pikmin franchise. And this game was made in 2013 on the Wii U, but they decided to re-release it on the Nintendo Switch, so I'm going to be playing it. Starting now. Uh, just me. No one else. Let's see how this goes. Change difficulty? Uh, anyways. Options. Oh, uh oh, no. Maybe. Oh, normal heart, extra, ultra spicy? Ooh. Well, I am no good at the Pikmin game, so I'm just gonna play normal mode. Now, I've never played Pikmin 3, so this is going to be a bit of a surprise for me. Galactic date. Galactic 20 date. XX. 20 XX. At the far reaches of space At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light-year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. What happened? What happened to them? What happened? What are these guys? Obviously picking. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. That wasn't your first guess. Alright. Charlie your ship. Charlie your ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? Where's my crew? Hmm. Captain Charlie. Hmm. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. Also, that is a large muff. That is a large nose, and I like the bit of a mohawk he got there. We've gotta find Alvin Brittany. I only hope they survived. Oh, oh. Well, I mean, like, I would have assumed that. If he got stuck in story mode, I don't care about that. Uh... Oh, it's the same thing. Hmm. Uh... Hmm. They look very happy. Like, they're just looking down at me like I'm a lesser being. Oh. 
Why are they staring directly at the screen? Oh god. Um, anyways. Mm. Alien 5. Okay, mushrooms. Oh. Is that a tin can? I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Would you even call this a neighborhood? You're gonna eat me. Oh, whistle? Ah, ah, I'm surrounded. Oh. Get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. They don't appear hostile, so let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B and throw them with A. Press B to blow the whistle and call Pikmin over. Hold B longer to increase the whistle's range. Um, Take aim with L and press A to throw. Wow, that's totally something people say to themselves. A whistle? Wow, this actually is pretty big. Huh. And throw. Throw, 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 throw. Throw, 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 throw. Did I do it? I think I did it. Let's get them off. I'm pretty sure there are some back here still, so... They're, yeah, they're still here. Let me get them. Don't want to lose anyone. And if there's still ten more on the field, then where are they? Are they still lost over here? No? Okay. I'll just keep going. And see what's up ahead. Oh! Uh, there's the other ten. That's a super big mushroom. What are those things? One, one. Is this a new counting game? Hmm. Anyway. Oh god, this does not look good. Um. Oh. oh so pretty. Oh. It's so pretty. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow. Also, why is this branch so perfectly placed? Anyways, let's get going. Too bad I can't throw the Pikmin in the water. Uh, Dino Demon Get out of this. Or a tata. Oh. Well, Charlie's dead. On to our next victim. Alf was the imposter. Well, lucky little Alf, he didn't drop straight onto the ground. Oh, well, he's gonna die to a crash, anyways. How are these people not dead? They just crashed onto an alien on an alien planet. How are they surviving this? That's yeah, a miracle. Alive and somehow unharmed. You bet it is. Alf. Of course. Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. So they jumped out. During the chaos, I was separated from the other two members, as well as the ship itself. You jumped out, how would you not be... separated? As the ship's engineer, is it up to me, Alf, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you just have to work on the ship, you don't have to... 
take leadership. But in any case, this is also very pretty. Look at the little, little ripples. I wonder if we can make waves. Splash. Splash. Oh, look at the little... Little old glow thing on the back. Mm. What are you, small child? Why'd you take five seconds to be afraid? Yeah, what was that? Probably another Pikmin 3 Deluxe TM copyright. That's a sexy pose. Oh, it's done. Why do you guys want tomato juice? Here's a specimen I just spotted has company. Of course. And what's that stuck in, stuck in the branch? It's a tomato juicer that happens to fly. Oh, I can. Oh, that's so useful. I can just. Oh, that's gonna make throwing my body easier. Look at those little tongues. Demon tongues. I was hoping that was a fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Hey, if you try hard enough, anything's edible. Just may not survive half the time. Nevertheless, the reds follows fellows seem to seem quiet now that it's freed. Oh wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Face forward with CL and look around with R. R won't always work if the Joy-Con is held sideways. Well, I'm using a Pro Controller, so shut up. Three, three, four. Oh. Oh, there we go. Also, what's that doing? Get over here. Um, up, up, up. I'm just gonna grab some. Come on, build me a bridge. You got this. You guys can do better than that. Pick up the rest of the pile. Are you gonna... Come on, it's right there. Uh, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Oh, wait, no. It's my iPad. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. Oh, come on, hurry up, you slow pokes. Build for me, my slaves. Build. Go. Go. Faster. Faster or we don't feed you. Go. Faster. Come on. Yeah, it's almost built, but not enough. Go. Three more, come on. Last one isn't getting fed. You. You. Goodbye, you're being left. Why are they running back? That's not what you're supposed to do. Well, if none of you are getting fed, then all of you are getting fed. Because I can't have all of you all dead, so... Let's get going. Get my iPad. Map data loading. Great. Still works, of course. I expect nothing less less from the Copite engineering. Small brag. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. It's just an iPad that's more sturdy, so. A Nokia iPad. Probably were. That wasn't that hard to find. The SS Drink isn't that far from here. Yep. Maybe the other. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Well, sorry, but Charlie's dead. I don't know where Brittany is. If I. That's her name. Now we can start exploring with the help of the Coke pad. Cup. Pad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. Oh. I 
could take photos? Wait, huh? Photos. Yes. Look at you, my child. Perfect. As all things should be. Look at me, children. You are here for my work and only me. Now let's go. One. Oh. Oh. Surprisingly, it takes only one, so let's get this one. One. Bop. Go. Where are you taking this? Why are you carrying this? There's already a bridge here. Tomato juice, of course. Of course we need more tomato juice. Are those tomato seeds? Popping out tomato seeds. Look. Tomato Pikmin. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Press A to pluck nearby Pikmin sprouts. Press B to cancel. Well, let's just keep plucking. And we got them all. Good job. Now we have room to sacrifice some of you. If you guys don't step in line, well, you better watch out. And always step in line. Now go make more. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Eating them. Kill them. Okay, I think I did it now. Did I get them all? Wait, no. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Uh, one. Get it. What are you? Five? Yeah, you bet it's huge. Looks like they're twerking on it. Or even humping it at that. Of course it's not enough. We have to go get your friends. Wish I can run faster. <gasps> There's more tomatoes! Wow. Come on, pluck tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. And... 14. And then there's two carrying that large one. So we'll get that. Let's see how well we can do on this. Throw, throw, throw. Let's just get a bunch on there. Uh, 9 out of 5? 10 out of 5? No, you're not gonna grab onto it. Come on, there's plenty of room. You can grab onto it if you really wanted to. Well, let's just keep going. Let's push it. Does that even work? I don't think we're getting any faster. Can go through it though, so that's nice. Is that like a tomato coupon? Or oh, I meant to pluck that, not throw it. Jeez. Okay, we're maxed out on tomatoes, which is 24. I wonder how these guys taste. Dude, come on, what are you doing? Wonder, did they go good on a hamburger? Anyways, wait, how do I? Ah. Well, I guess that's not gonna work. Come on, let's go. Oh, this one. He's not helping his friends. Slacker. If there's one to be killed first, it'll be you. Also, what is that? 
It's the new yellow play button for people with only a hundred subscribers to make them feel better. Looks like someone's- oh. Huh. Looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps a cope pad will be able to read it. How though? It's from a foreign land. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It gives both birth to them and provides them with shelter. Ooh. So it's like a tomato juice bottle. Or like a seed box. Excellent. The cop pad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin. Three deluxe copyright. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the Cop Cop Pads exploration notes. Exploration notes. Of course. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote the data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Well, intelligent life forms that can use the same technology as you, so. Yeah. Oh, so that's a big leaf. That's a big thing. Whatever it is. Flower, mushroom, who knows? Oh. Last time we were in a cave, it didn't go so well, so... Change the radar's orientation in other settings in the options menu. Interesting. Yeah, we've seen it. Some people do, and like, it does make them hot if they enjoy it. Either those leaves are pretty strong, or their noses are very pokey. And it's a sand castle. And why would they build a sand castle in the middle of a road? Charge attack? Charge attack? Whoa. So can you, like, get out of the and move my hat on? Because I don't think I can move my hat The crew could learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. Wow, thanks. You're planning on enslaving your teammates. That's nice. I hope the Drake is okay. Mm. Oh, there it is. Wow, the engine already started and everything. Amazing. The SS Drake. The copper pad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, look at those eyes. Receiving call. Who could it be? I have no idea. Who are you? Brittany? Oh. Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? You look like you're in the middle of a desert. Or some sort of savanna. Made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. Oh. And I'm starved. Oh, well, there's another crewmate dead. But at least I didn't think it feel that she appears to be safe at sound. Safe and sound, she just got said she was starving and then got cut off. I think it's safe and sound to say that she's dead. Anyways, what's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. I mean, like, yeah, you already got a pre-started engine on your spaceship. Also, that's a small spaceship for three people. And off we go. Two space balls. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. Oh. 
Whoa. That also looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Most of the slop supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So now we only have three days worth of edible group provisions left. Well, how do we even know anything is edible here? Starting tomorrow, I'll we'll have to find some local food. Yeah, but like, how do you know it won't kill you? Day one. Hmm. Review the replay with Lazla to fine tune your strategy. Of course, is that a ghost? Some of them are gonna die. Obviously, how hard would this game be if none of them died? But, in any case, I think this would be a good time to stop. Because, for this series, I'll be doing one day per episode, so, I'll see you later. Right after this message. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake. But our cosmic drive key hmm, is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and we will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, onion. No, it's a tomato. Took a flight as well. Odd, but amazing. But now, I am truly going to go. Goodbye. so far, but didn't do so great in them, so there's nothing worth recording. But on this fourth match, I went on a tear, so now I'm at the end of the game, I'm going to click the timeline and drag it back to the beginning of that match. Now, I'm going to press record, wait a few seconds, and now press stop. Now, I have this match saved. 